to a person, the Democrats spent the whole day saying Donald Trump obstructed. Well, uh, newsflash, Donald Trump is not charged with obstructing. Actually, Donald Trump is charged with obstruction. In the Florida documents case, count 33, conspiracy to obstruct justice. Obstruction is not the issue. Trump was also charged with false statements and representations, altering, destroying, mutilating, or concealing, as well as corruptly altering, destroying, or mutilating. The issue is not the issue at hand. Obstruction is not the issue. Janine Pirro's whoppers are an issue. So much so that two years ago, Fox News pulled the plug on her TV program. I thank you for fighting for me, and you know who you are. And so as we reach the end of this journey, don't think you're getting rid of me just yet. Yes, Fox News kept Pirro around as a commentator on The Five. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> It's your, it's your segment. And the controversies have become legendary. Mediaite Fox News reportedly demoted Janine Pirro, own producer, torched her as a reckless maniac. Quote, Pirro had become so unmanageable that her own executive producer called her a reckless maniac, as a filing in the Dominion lawsuit previously indicated. This guy has been lying from the moment he came on the political scene. He has a lack of empathy. He is egocentric. He's got a condescending smirk whenever anybody asks him a question from the press. Some of the recklessness allegedly included drinking too much wine before going on air. A claim underscored by the good liars. Let me ask you a question. When you're on the air, do you, do you have a couple drinks before you go on? Never. Because I watched you one time and you were slurring your words a little bit. I was never slurring my words. On When you were on your show, on Judge Jeannie, you were slurring your words a little bit. But that's what we like about it. We, that's, we're like, it's funny. what's fun about the show. Did you see saying that I was slurring my words? Oh. Well, just you've had a couple... You just had a couple of, drinks. Uh, that, that's no? why we what's your name? So back to the lies, including Pirro's whitewashing of Donald Trump's alleged crimes. Even though the Janine Pirro whopper about Donald Trump not being charged with obstruction is undercut by the actual indictment and court filings, will Fox News correct Pirro, apologize, or issue a retraction? Probably not, because that is not part of the Fox News playbook. Instead, Fox will claim that analysts like Pirro are merely offering opinions. Of course, that didn't work in the Dominion voting system lawsuit against Fox. Janine Pirro was one of the anchors named in the suit for making false and defamatory claims. After they created four years of chaos, accusing Trump of sowing doubt in our democracy, saying that his questioning of this election is a danger to America, as if the election process being changed in the middle of an election is no big deal, as if a little fraud is okay and they lash out on any voting challenge, casting it as a temper tantrum by us. Really? We're the ones having the temper tantrum? The tantrums by Pirro and others against Dominion ended up costing Fox News $787 million. Through the years, Janine Pirro has also lashed out at immigrants. Analysts said that Pirro's rhetoric against immigrants during the pandemic was similar to xenophobic Nazi propaganda. Pirro has continued to peddle the Great Replacement Theory. It's a white nationalist claim that Democrats are welcoming immigrants to the United States in order to dilute the power of white people. It's an incendiary claim that has also been made by other hosts on Fox News. The most prominent purveyor of this anti-immigrant crap until his firing at Fox was Tucker Carlson. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. There's no evidence that white supremacists were responsible for what happened on January 6th. That's a lie. We have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided. Demographics. Demographic. Demographics. Demographics. Demographic. Remember the Great Replacement Theory? Was it conspiracy theory? It sounds more like a statistical fact. Ilhan Omar is living proof that the way we practice immigration has become dangerous to this country. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, herself a symbol of America's failed immigration system. Can a single human being actually be as loathsome as Ilhan Omar is? It's hard to believe. To be fair, Janine Pirro will never be quite like Tucker Carlson. Tucker's on-air persona comes across as more thoughtful and enlightened, regardless of his nonsense. Pirro comes across as a loud, obnoxious female version of that intoxicated elderly man in the neighborhood who keeps yelling at the kids, get off my lawn! Eventually, that old neighbor will go away, leaving only behind the colorful memories to everybody, especially the kids, about what a kook he was. Janine Pirro will eventually go away too. But it probably will not be because Fox News shows her the door. The channel seems incapable of having a shred of dignity or shame, 
when it comes to getting rid of some of their older, unhinged, lunatic hosts. Think how long Lou Dobbs lasted on Fox and then Fox Business Channel. And he was even louder and more dangerous than Janine Pirro. At Fox, there seems to be a soft place in their cold hearts for elderly, conservative, possibly intoxicated, on-air talent, no matter how much they get wrong. Well, Janine Pirro was wrong literally every time she opens her mouth. The only question is whether she produces an obvious whopper in defense of Donald Trump or something more benign. Either way, Janine Pirro is arguably a conservative clown. Maybe Fox viewers find her circus act amusing and entertaining, but I sense that most Americans, at least those capable of independent critical thinking, find Janine Pirro to be a sad and pathetic cartoonish-like figure. And unfortunately, Fox News seems to embrace that and loves platforming obvious lies. By the way, Janine Pirro's political hero Donald Trump recently stooped to a new low. Oh, we all heard Crooked Joe's angry, dark, hate-filled rant of a State of the Union address. At the beginning of his weekend speech in Rome, Georgia, Donald Trump mocked Joe Biden's stutter. Wasn't it, didn't it bring us together? Remember, he said, I'm going to bring the country to, 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 together. I'm going to bring it together. No, no. Moments later, Trump got hit by karma as he tried to name Russia's Vladimir Putin. When Trump was, when Trump was president, there were none of these problems. Israel wouldn't have been attacked. Ukraine and Russia wouldn't be fighting. I knew Putin. I'd know him very well. He was no way he was going in. Putin? After that, Trump criticized Democrats and stumbled over the word opponent. That's why they're weaponizing law enforcement for high-level election interference against Joe Biden's top and only political appointment, a guy named me. By then, the speech had become appointment viewing as the gaffes kept coming. They raided my house in Florida, Mar-a-Lago. They raided with no ra They had no reason. Trump struggled over the word compliments. All compliments of an incompetent. Near the end, Trump butchered the word become. Crime-ridden nation. We have become a nation like nobody thought possible. Critics say these are all crumbs and clues of Trump's alleged aphasia. It's a language disability due to damage to the brain. It can be marked by difficulty speaking, difficulty understanding, difficulty writing, and difficulty reading. Heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will be uh... But while the alleged aphasia in Trump may be relatively new... Did you just see Maduro, Venezuela, though it's... A Trump's ridicule of someone else's speech impediment or disability has been happening for years. Hmm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Space Force Commander. He wrote, Biden stutters? But what's Trump's excuse? Good question. And maybe that's why Dementia Don <laughs> keeps trending. In any case, I look forward to reading your comments about the latest lunatic lies from Fox News host Janine Pirro. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.